Hi, Ms. Newman's class. This is Mrs. Jervis coming to you from the art room where this year we will be having our art show instead of in the gym. Um, I have labeled your art. I've chosen three of your arts and I've put your initials down. We got one person that was absent when we did the turtles. You're in alphabetical order, first and last name. We took one class period and drew turtles. The week before, we took some different things that had texture, put it under paper with a crayon, and rubbed it to give ourselves texture. That was a texture rubbing. With the turtles, what we did was we drew our turtle, divided his shell up into some different sections, and we drew our textures. So that is our turtles, texture turtles. Next up is our monoprint pumpkins. Our monoprint pumpkins, the way we did this was we took fluorescent orange and fluorescent green. I squirted out a little dab on the table, directly on the table, and with one finger our monoprint pumpkins, we printed one print. We used one finger so we didn't get too messy. We spread the paint out in a circle because pumpkins are round. We drew the lines in the pumpkins. We added the green on for a little bit of grass and the stem. That was really fun. That's one of my favorite projects in first grade is monoprint pumpkins. Next up is our grand finale, our Claude Monet Japanese Bridges. <clears throat> Excuse me. We learned about Claude Monet. He is my favorite artist. He does a lot, did a lot of landscapes, flowers, the ponds. Um, we watched a video of the actual garden of his. They still keep it up. They still have visitors come in and look at it. We drew our bridge. This person was absent when we painted. We drew our bridge. We went over it with oil pastels. We drew our lily pads the lily pads at the bottom of the page were closer to us, so they were bigger and had a little more detail. The lily pads further away in the pond were smaller. That's how artists make things look like they're up close and things far away. Then we painted with watercolors. Miss Jervis put a little bit of salt on the watercolor while it was still wet, and it gave these little sparkly effects. Kind of a science thing. Miss Jervis is not a science teacher, but it was a really cool effect. This person was absent when we painted two. And one more. And there you have it. <clears throat> Mrs. Newman's art show in the art room on YouTube. Miss you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.